Hi, my name is Mel, and I'm going to be introducing you to the Giant Multiplayer Robot. Giant Multiplayer Robot is a service that my friend Brian and I wrote to help automate long-term Civilization V games. To get started, I'll need to authenticate. We use Steam's open authentication system for all of our users. So when you log in, you'll need to do it using your Steam account information. We do not store your Steam username and password. We do not even retrieve your Steam username and password. However, we do retrieve your Steam profile avatar, as you can see up here in the top right corner. Now, there's a couple more pieces of information that I need to provide in order to fully use Giant Multiplayer Robot. First is my email address. By entering my email address, this allows me to receive notifications from GMR for things such as when it's my turn or if I've been invited to a new game. Now the second and most critical piece of information is I need to provide an in-game password. This password will be used inside of each Civilization V game I'm a part of. This protects my turn from other players inadvertently or intentionally playing it for me. So I'm going to go ahead and set that now. We'll see where that comes up later. Now the second thing I need to do in order to play a Civilization V game is I need to create one. So I'm going to go ahead and go under my under the My Games tab, and you'll see I already have several games going with some of my friends. Over here on the right, I'll type in a name for the new game that I want to create. And select the civilization I want to play as. I think this time I'll play as England. Now, in the New Game menu, you'll see several features. First is a list of players. You can see that I'm displayed along with my civilization. Next is where I can set the maximum number of players I want for the game. Here I think I'll set it to four. Now I can decide if I want the game to be privately visible or publicly visible. If a game is publicly visible, it will be displayed in the game browser section and any player will be able to join it up into the player limit. However, this time I want to keep it private. This way, only people I invite will be able to join the game. So let's go ahead and invite somebody. I'd like to play with my friend Brian. Brian is already using Giant Multiplayer Robot, so I can look him up by his Steam profile name, which in this case is Species Zero. There he is. Now I just drag him to the Invite section, and an invitation will automatically be sent to Brian via email and the GMR notifications. After a short while, we'll notice that I have a new notification. This is letting me know that Brian has joined my Civilization V game. At this point, I can simply refresh the screen, and you'll see that he has selected his own civilization and is now in the players list. Now, Before I begin this game, I'd like to add a few AI players. To do that, I simply click the Add an AI Player link in the right-hand toolbar. This will allow me to select the civilization for the players such as France, or if I prefer, I can just let, select them as random. I can also at this point drag players around to reorder the turn order. Do note that this is the order that players will be playing in Civilization V. So I think that I'd like to have an AI player between Brian and I. Now when I'm ready, I can go ahead and click the Start Game button. This will prompt me to make sure that I'm certain I'm ready to begin the game because once I do, I will no longer be able to change the players in the game or any of the settings. Now that the game's been created, it's ready to play. To play the game, I'll need to download the Giant Multiplayer Robot desktop application, which I've already done. First time I start the application, it will ask me for my authentication key, which you can find on the download tab here. I can simply copy and paste this key into the GMR application, at which point it will authenticate with the web server. Once the authentication is finished, it will load the games that I am a member of. You can see that it's loaded the MyCiv5 game, which I just created, and it shows that it's my turn. It also lists the other players that are in the game and when the last turn was. To play the turn, I simply need to click on it and say play turn now. Since I'm the very first person to play this turn, it 
prompts me to create the game in Civilization 5. To do this, I'll need to be certain of the turn orders. I can click on this link to view the game details on the website. Once I've memorized the details for the game, or written them down for future reference, I'll go back to the giant multiplayer robot application and tell it to launch the game. This will launch Civilization 5. Once Civilization 5 loads, I'll want to navigate to the multiplayer hot seat menu. Giant Multiplayer Robot uses the hot seat mode for Civilization 5 to handle this sort of long turn term turn based play. I'll go ahead and select a map size and set the game pace to quick since this will already be a long game. At this point, all I need to do is set the civilizations for the players in the game and make sure they're in the correct order starting with myself as the English. Once I have all the players and their civilizations set, including a human player for my friend Brian, I'll go ahead and launch the game. This will start my turn. At this point, I'll go ahead and say continue to play my turn. Hmm, this looks like a good spot for a city. Might as well settle here. First turn, there's not a lot to do, but it's all very important. When I'm finished, I'll select next turn. Civilization at this point will bring the screen to my friend Brian. I'll go ahead and hit the save button. It doesn't matter what I name, this, name the save file, I just need to save it. You'll notice that the giant multiplayer robot application automatically closed the Civilization 5 for me and it has detected the new save file and it's prompting me to submit it. Once I click submit turn, the save file will be uploaded to the website where it'll be ready for Brian to play. After waiting for Brian to take his turn, the game will be in my court again. To play my new turn, I simply click on the game and say play turn now. This will launch Civilization 5. Once Civilization 5 is loaded, I'll navigate to the multiplayer hot seat menu. Since I'm not creating a new game, I'll select Load Game. This is the method that you'll use every time you're continuing a GMR game. Notice that there's a save file here called GMR Play This One. This is always a save file to select when playing a turn. So I'll go ahead and load it now. When the game loads, I'll be prompted for my password. This is the password that I entered in the Giant Multiplayer Robot website. Our service has automatically set the password for every player, so I'll need to enter it to continue. Hmm, great turn. Now it's Brian's turn again. I will save the file, and the giant multiplayer robot app will pick it up. I'll submit it, and off it goes. I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration of the giant multiplayer robot. Please feel free to send us an email if you have any questions. You can find our contact information on the Contact Us link at the bottom of the website. Have fun. Hope to see you in the game.